What's up everybody? This is Afton from Woods the Table. Today we're going to show you how to make our hog bait and we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with three different flavors and see which one of these hogs like the best. All right, so we filled our bucket up with corn. We fill it up about three quarters of the way. And the first thing we're gonna do is work on our fermentation, because it's all about fermentation and flavor with this hog bait. So step one, we're gonna add our sugar. Take this whole bag. Then we take our yeast. We do uh, three packets. And last step, we're gonna work on our flavors. So for this one, we're gonna do grape. <laughs> it's splashing on me, y'all. All right, next we're gonna add two grape Kool-Aid packets. All right, we're gonna use a slotted spoon to stir this up. Then when we get done, we're going to add water just enough until the corn floats. All right, last step is to put your lid on. Just make sure you don't put your lid all the way on, that you leave it a little bit open. And the reason you want to do that is to let these gases, as this fermentation process takes place, to come out of the bucket and not become a stink bomb. That's it. In the next two buckets, we're gonna do two different flavors. We're gonna do fruit punch and we're gonna do orange. Same process as what we just went through with the grape. And that's it, people. So all you wanna do with these things is set them aside so you can let the fermentation process happen. Come out here, check them once a day. Make sure the water is still covering the corn. If it's not, add you some water, stir it back up, put the lid on. Remember, don't put the lid on too tight. Leave it a little bit. And that's it. All right, so Ryan and I are gonna take over for Afton here just for a couple of minutes. Um, we've got the hog bait, we're down here at the club, and uh, with turkey season, fishing, traveling, we've just gotten busy, got distracted, and let a couple of our sites just go dormant down here. The feeders have been empty for a while, um, the pigs have quit coming through there, and we wanna go pig hunting here pretty soon. So we gotta reactivate those sites, and I need to fill those feeders, but instead of just having corn hitting the ground and waiting for those pigs to just find it by accident one day, the fastest way to reactivate a site is to throw down this hog bait. Put that scent out in the air and get them coming around a lot sooner. So we're gonna do that, and then we'll also do this taste test and see which of these flavors they like the best. Once we filled our feeders, we got our little contest set up. The rules are simple. Put out three even piles of corn, one in each flavor. First flavor to disappear wins. And we monitor real time with our cell cams. And I have no idea what to expect. Now, to give ourselves a better chance of success and to increase our sample size, we did this same thing at three different locations. With the help of my trusty assistant, Ryan, we got those sites set up, pulled out of there, and then waited on the pictures to roll in. And roll in they did. That same night, a big group of pigs found our first location. They immediately showed a preference for the grape flavor with six pigs around that pile, three on the fruit punch, and only one on the orange. As they worked down that pile of grape, the bigger pigs moved over to the fruit punch. When everything else was near gone, they finally hit that orange. The next day, we had the exact same thing play out at another location. What's interesting here is the big pigs come in and immediately take over the grape pile, and the small pigs show their preference for the fruit punch next. And again, it wasn't until the grape pile was almost done that the pigs started working their way down to the other flavors. And when most of the pigs clear out of there, you can finally see the damage done. The grape flavor is gone. A little bit of fruit punch and a little bit more orange left behind. But regardless of the flavor, they love this stuff. There was not a kernel of corn on the ground by mid-morning. And the exact same thing happened at the third location. All right, that's it for us, you guys. I think we got a clear winner. What do you think? Grape. Grape eight. Who doesn't like grape? Everybody likes grapes. If you enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up for us. It sure does help us out, and we cannot do this without your support. If you like this content, we got a lot more like it. We got awesome stuff on this channel. Catch, clean, cooks, hunting and fishing, how-tos, equipment reviews, and you don't want to miss it. We'll see you guys next time. God bless. Hey, Afton's not this tall. Want to know how I know that? <laughs> Anybody wondering how we get shorty in the frame with me? Video magic, people. <laughs> right here. She's still not quite in the frame. Gotta add another brick. It's the new video stiletto. Check this out. Hoorah! <laughs>
Not three no more. <laughs> Thank you for watching and God bless.